So let's look at our problem. An object in free fall requires 0.25 seconds to travel past the window 2.5 meters long. From what height above the top of the window was the object released? So let's look at our diagram. In our diagram we have the window that is 2.5 meters long. We want to determine what the height is from where our ball was released. So this problem can be done in two steps. In the first step, we have to determine what our velocity of the ball or the object was at the top of the window. And the way we can do it is using the information given. So we know that whatever the height or whatever the velocity of the object was at this point, with that velocity and our acceleration due to gravity, the ball took or the object took 0.25 seconds to travel from the top to the bottom of the window, which is 2.5 meters long. So let's set up the following initial conditions. So at this point, we're going to let our V naught be 0.0 meters, and this point is our final um, position of the ball or the object along our y-axis, and it's set to be 2.5 meters, the length of our window. So we know what, what our acceleration is, and since our velocity points in the same direction as our acceleration, our acceleration is positive. So we set the downward direction to be positive. So we need to find the velocity at this point. So let's use the following equation. So we have our final position at this point equals the initial position at this point plus our initial velocity, which is what we want to find, multiplied by the time, how long it takes our object to fall this distance, 2.5 meters, given this initial velocity, plus one half times our gravitational constant g times time squared. So let's rearrange our equation. Let's place our initial velocity on one side, everything else on the other side. So this goes here, this goes here, and then we divide both sides by our time. Now, um, so we get this equation. Now let's plug in all our knowns. So our initial height is y, 2.5 meters. Final height is zero, so that crosses out. One half times positive 9.8 meters per second squared multiplied by our time 0.25 seconds squared divide that whole thing by 0.25 seconds and we get approximately 8.8 meters per second so our object's velocity at this point at the top of the window was 8.8 meters per second so this is the first part of our problem now in the second part we have a different situation we want to find something else we want to calculate what this distance is knowing now what the velocity of the object was at the top of the window so let's suppose our object was released from the roof now let's set the roof to be our v naught 0, 0.0 meters and let's set our final location position to be what we want to find. So we want to find this displacement from the top of the roof to the bottom of or to the top of the window. Now, we could once again use one of our equations for uniform acceleration. So let's use this equation. Why? Well, because we know what our final velocity is. That's what we found. Now, in this case, our initial velocity was zero. That's at the point when our ball or our object was released. This is our final velocity at the top of the window. So our final velocity, initial velocity, this is zero. This is what we found in part A. Our acceleration is the same. It's positive. And this is what we want to find. Our V naught is, or our Y naught is zero. Our Y final is what we're trying to find. So let's rearrange this equation, bring everything on one side and Y on the other side. So we get our V final squared minus V initial <coughs> squared divided by 2a equals y, we plug in our values and we get approximately 4.0 meters. So our window, the top of the window is approximately 4.0 meters in height. 
So our object was released four meters uh, below or above our window.